Um, my name is Megan Dwyer, and I am born and raised in Northwest Philadelphia. And I am a yoga teacher and a shamanic guide. help people restore their relationship with their bodies and also with the earth. My yoga path actually led me to shamanism. Valley Forge um, is such a beautiful place. I love, uh, you know, the mountains and the, the hills here and the fact that it is a um, you know, historical landmark. You know, from a shamanic perspective too, we'd, you know, come here um, and also kind of with that historical context, remember also that of who came before uh, the Europeans did. So this is the, I think it's so important to acknowledge that this is the land, the original land of the Lenape and, um, and whoever their ancestors were. Um, and so that's a big part of shamanism too, is to acknowledge the, the spirits or the ancestors of the land that you're on um, and the harm that was created because of things like war. Oh, that's a, that's a great question. I would say is it takes a, a coming into your, your heart and, and your body in the same way that you were when you were a little child. As, as children, we're all super connected to our hearts and to our bodies. And the ch a child might have no problem talking to a tree or to an animal. And so that's kind of the same way. Um, your brain might not necessarily understand it because we've been trained in a very rational, um, cerebral way. We are nature. It's not a coincidence that just like the earth, 70% of our body is made up of water. And um, so we're like mini, little mini earths, our bodies are. A big part of shamanism work is play. It's like going back to being a kid again. Personally, I, it's been more about forming my own communities, especially around the full moon. So I run full moon fire ceremonies in a, you know, outside, you know, we all were in a circle around the fire and we sing songs and we, you know, use the fire to help release parts of ourselves uh, or things that we don't like in our life or we we're having a hard time with. And then we, because um, the nature of fire is that it's powerful and transformative. And we also have that fire within ourselves. So seeing that we have all the elements, right? Earth, water, fire, air, right, are also within us.